My name is Hugh Kwashi. I live here on the terraces, and I've been asked by my neighbors to explain why we all believe that a concrete plant would be harmful to us. Concrete production is generally considered to be one of the most antisocial industrial processes. Yet Redland Aggregates has applied to Barnet Council to build a ready-mixed concrete plant on this site a mere 65 yards from the nearest dwellings. The proposed structure will be nearly 36 feet tall, and from here, 14 feet below the site, it will tower 50 feet above us. Apart from this visual blight, we're also very concerned about the noise. The terraces are normally very quiet and tranquil, The production of concrete is a very noisy process. And remember, this noise will come from up on the embankment about the same height as my bedroom window. Visual intrusion greatly increased noise. But there's more, much, much more traffic on Crickwood's already heavily congested roads. Redland have suggested that the bulk of materials will be moved into and out of the site by rail. But the facts are otherwise. Only about 60% of the materials delivered to the site will be by rail whereas 100% of all outgoing deliveries will be by road. In terms of weight, only about a quarter of all deliveries to and from the site will be by rail. The rest will be by HGV. Trucks similar to these could make up to 90 round trips, six days a week. And they will use this traffic-laden stretch of the Edgware Road. Buses continually turn right out of this depot, which is almost directly opposite the proposed plant access. As you can see, they hold up the traffic. This will be the access to the proposed concrete plant. Observe how these cars turning in and out of the access road are blocking the traffic. Imagine up to 90 HGVs a day doing the same. Our only clear view spoiled, our peace destroyed, more traffic. But worst of all, because it affects our health, further air pollution the air quality in London is already very poor, and the increase in pollution that this concrete plant will bring terrifies us. Look at this concrete truck belching out diesel fumes, taking about six minutes to load, and this could be repeated up to 70 times a day, six days a week. And these trucks will spew out more fumes as they travel the roads of Cricklewood, making up to 70 return journeys, six days a week. Dust is another form of air pollution which threatens us. 1,000 tons or more of crushed rock and sand held in open storage bays like these will certainly produce dust. And more dust will be carried and thrown up by the concrete and delivery trucks as they come and go up to 90 times a day. But the most serious potential hazard to our health and our children's health is the dust from the cement and the cement substitutes that are used in the production of concrete. Redlands themselves admit that cement dust does escape into the surroundings despite their precautions. And when pressurized delivery hoses fail, clouds of toxic dust are blasted into the air by the high-powered pump. 
As Dr. Trebs has said, the dust from cement is very fine and extremely dangerous and easily picked up by the lightest of breezes. Over time, a film of this dust will settle over the immediate surroundings. In this case, our homes and our families. On a personal note, when Sue, the camera operator, and I were filming outside the concrete plant that you saw earlier, it was only a matter of minutes before our eyes and mouths filled with dust. I began coughing, and Sue later developed irritated eyes and a sore throat. In these few houses, about 100 meters from the proposed plant, are two people with asthma, one with bronchitis, and a baby with eczema. The effect of airborne cement dust is potentially damaging to the health of all of us. For these people, it could be devastating. This is the proposed site. Observe again how close it is to our homes. Most concrete plants are, like this one, set in industrial sites. Of the 50 concrete plants in Greater London, only 12 are sited within 100 meters of housing. And these 12 are either next to a main road or in an area of existing industrial noise. Neither of these conditions applies here. In fact, this proposed plant would be unique in its proximity to a peaceful residential community. Disastrously unique for us. And the prospect of such a plant is a source of fear and anxiety for most of our community. So what are the benefits of this plant to the local community? Jobs? Well, there will be jobs. Five highly specialized jobs will be created but these will almost certainly be drawn from outside the area. Ready mixed concrete. We already have two such plants within easy distance, and Redlands themselves admit there is no strategic need for more ready mixed concrete. So who does benefit from this concrete plant? Redlands does, but at our expense. And what price will we pay? we will pay with a daily sight of yet another large industrial structure looming over us. We will pay in increased noise, increased traffic, increased air pollution. And because of the toxic nature of cement dust, we may well pay with our health. This is our community. We don't want the concrete plant. Please support us. Please, Please support, support us. us.